Lesson 1.4 Powers of 10 and Exponents The Essential Question How can you use exponents to show the powers of 10? So if you're looking at unlocking the problem, the question reads, Expressions with factors such as 10 times 10 times 10 can be written using a base exponent. The base is the number that is used to re as the repeated factor. The exponent is the number that tells how many times the base is being used as the factor. So in this sample, it has 10 times 10 times 10. So the base is 10, and 3 is the exponent telling you how many times you're multiplying it. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. In word form, you would say the third power of 10. The exponent form is 10 with 3 in the exponent, done just above the 10. Activity. The first problem asks, how many ones are in 1? So if I'm looking at the 1, I can see there's 1. The second question asks, how many ones are in 10? Well, I have 1 times 10 or 10 to the first power, which is 10. And looking at the second question, it asks, how many tens are in 100? So now I'm looking at the flat. I have 1 times 10 times 10, or the second power of 10, which is 10. How many hundreds are in 1,000? So now I'm looking at the large cube. And I have 1 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is the third power of 10. And I'm getting 10. How many thousands are in 10,000? I should get 10. In the bottom right hand box, draw a quick picture to show 10,000. So if we use a square to represent a thousand, we're going to need 10,000 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10,000 ones is the same thing as saying one times ten times ten times ten times 10, which is 10 to the fourth. The next example asks, multiplying a whole number by the power of 10. Hummingbirds beat their wings very fast. The smaller the hummingbird is, the faster its wings beat. The average hummingbird beats its wings about three times the third power of 10 times a minute. How many times a minute is that? Write it as a whole number. So multiplying 3 by the powers of 10, let's try and look for a pattern. So 3 times um, 10 to the 0 is the same thing as saying 3 times 1, or 3. 3 times 10 to the first power equals 3 times 10, which is 30. 3 times 10 to the second, or the second power of 10, is the same thing as saying 3 times 3 times 3, which is 300. 3 times 10 to the third power, which is the same as saying 3 times 10 times 10 times 10, is 3,000. So on the average, a hummingbird beats its wings about 3,000. times a minute. Do you notice a pattern? Whenever I'm adding a power of 10, I'm also adding a zero or a place value. So for each power of 10, the number of zeros written after a whole number is the same as the exponent. So 10 to the zero power has no zeros, but when it's the power of 1, it has one zero. The power of 2 has two zeros. The power of 3 had three zeros. 
Under share and show, we have 10 times 10, which is written as the second power of 10. Number 2 has 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So in exponent form, it's 10 with a 4 written in the exponent, also known as the fourth power of 10. Now looking at the three examples, we'll find the value. The second power of 10 is the same thing as saying 10 times 10, which is 100. Number 4 has 4 times the second power of 10. The second power of 10 is like saying 10 times 10, which is 100, like we said in the first problem. And 100 times 4 is 400. The last problem, we have 7 times the third power of 10. The third power of 10 is saying 10 times 10 times 10, which is... A thousand and a thousand times seven is seven thousand. Which is ten thousand. Number two has two times the third power of ten. Well, the third power of ten is saying ten times ten times ten, which is a thousand. And a thousand times two is two thousand. The next question says six times the fourth power of ten. So the fourth power of ten is ten times ten times ten times ten, which is ten thousand. And ten thousand times six is going to be 60,000. So now we're going to complete the patterns. We have 7 times 10, or the 0 power of 10, which is the same thing as saying 7 times 1. So that's 7. 7 times 10, the first power of 10, which is the same thing as saying 7 times 10, is 70. 7 times the second power of 10, which is saying the same thing as 7 times 10 times 10, or 7 times 100, is going to be 700. 7 times the third power of 10, or 7 times 1,000, which is 10 times 10 times 10, is 7,000. And 7 times the fourth power of 10, which is saying 7 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or 10,000, is 70,000. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Let's see if that pattern holds out. So if I'm looking at problem 12, I have 9 times 10 or the 0 power of 10, which is the same thing as saying 9 times 1. Then I have 9 times the first power of 10, which is saying 9 times 10. Sorry, my handwriting's not so great in here. The next one says 9 times the second power of 10, which is essentially saying 9 times 100. The next one says 9 times the third power of 10, which is essentially 9 times 1,000. And the last one says 9 times the fourth power of 10, which is essentially saying 9 times 10,000. And again, I apologize, it's hard to write on the cursor on this. Looking at problem number 12, it's similar to the first uh, problem 11 that we did. 12 times 10, or the 0 power of 10 is the same thing as saying 12 times 1, which is 12. The next one is 12 to the first power of 10, which is the same thing as saying 12 times 10, which is 120. And the next one, you can see that it's just going to keep adding a 0 every time. I'm adding a zero. In the last problem, it has a hot problem. The third power of 10 equals 10 times 10 to the n, 
what's that n value? So if I think I have 10 to the third power, which is the same thing as saying 10 times 10 times 10, the 10 times 10 can be 100. So we have 10 times 100. So the n value is 2. So 10 times 10, or 10 times 100. So the n value is 2 with the two tens. Number 15. Explain how to write 50,000 using exponents. Well, since 50,000 is the same as 5 times 10,000, and 10,000 can be written as 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 to the 4th, then 50,000 equals 5 times 10 to the 4th. And unlocking the problem number 16, Lake Superior is the greatest, is the largest of the Great Lakes. It covers a surface area of about 30,000 square miles. How can you show the estimated area of Lake Superior as a whole number multiplied by a power of 10? So if I want to find the right power of 10 in the pattern that we had, how many ever was in the exponent was how many zeros we had. So if we have three times and we need four zeros, the answer is going to be C, and we know that 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 10,000, and 10,000 times 3 is going to give us 30,000, so the answer is C. Now if I wasn't sure how to work out this problem, and I didn't think about the pattern that I would saw earlier, first I'd look to see what am I asked to find. I need to show 30,000 is a whole number multiplied by a power of 10. The second part asks, how can you use a pattern to find the answer? Well, I can look for the product of a whole number and a power of 10 that equals 30,000. So let's write a pattern using a whole number of 3. 3 times the 0 power of 10, or 3 times 1, is 3. 3 times the, the power of 10, or the, 10 to the first power is the same thing as saying 3 times 10, which is 30. The second power of 10 times 3 is the same thing as saying 10, or 3 times 100, which is 300. And 3 to the um, third power of 10 is the same thing as saying 3 times 1,000, which is 3,000. And 3 times the 4th power of 10 is the same thing as saying uh, 3 times 10,000, which is 30,000. Problem 17 says, the Earth's diameter through the equator is about 8,000 miles. What is the Earth's estimated di diameter written as a whole number multiplied by a power of 10? So again, I just look at, I can easily look at my three zeros, and I know it needs to be the power of 10, or power of 3. So I'm going to get 8 times the third power of 10, which is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 8,000 when I multiply that times 8. Number 18, the Earth's circumference around the equator is about 25 times the third power of 10. What is the Earth's estimated circumference when written as a whole number? Well, 10 times 10 times 10 is 10,000. And 10,000 times 25 is 25,000. So the answer is going to be B. Thank you. Now it's time for you to work on your homework 1.4 in your homework book.